Hey guys, Dino here. Uh, just for something a little bit different, um, I thought I'd uh, show you my latest modification to my all-in-one um, brew system. So I'll swing the camera around. Now I've done these videos before, so a lot of you guys will be familiar with uh, the setup, but um, hopefully there's other people that haven't seen it and um, might have a few questions. So yeah, the, the basis, or the base of my all-in-one brew system is this um, standard T500 boiler with a concealed 2000 watt um, element in the base. Um, so in the first sort of round of mods what I did was I changed the standard um, it's like an urn tap for a for a ball valve tap uh, with a barb on and on the back of that I put a bazooka screen so yeah that took care of the tap side of things and then um, probably the next mod was adding a small uh, 6 volt to 12 volt um, pump so I could do a recirculating um, mash. So yeah, I've got a spa ring here, but I'll, I'll show you the um, I'll show you the grain basket first before we go any further and fire it up and get out that bit. So yeah, this is the um, the grain basket. Which you would have seen before, I've drilled lots of holes for drainage. But to stop the, uh, the smaller sort of grain particles escaping, I've got this um, sort of false bottom mesh that I made. Um, and I just put some um, tubing around the outside. Just when it sits on the bottom, it creates a nice seal. Um, now the basket, because I don't want the basket sitting on top of the um, bazooka screen etc, um, I made this um, wire rack. So it's a cake, basically a stainless steel cake rack with stainless steel nuts and bolts to act as legs. So that drops down to there, like so. So that sits nicely just above the uh, bazooka screen. And the other thing, which I'll show you in a minute, and then yeah, you put your grain in there, lower that down. Water comes up through the bottom. So when, when you've got grain in there, you can um, you're basically underleading your grain. Um, the next thing after I drop the grain basket in is I would be hooking up the sparge ring. So this is another homemade jobby, the old sparge ring. So that just clips onto the side got three clips to hold it into place and um, yeah so one when I want to um, start recirculating I've got the grain in there I'll just turn the, the tap on open up the water that pushes any air bubbles through the pump and then we can uh, turn the pump on and yeah, that's, so that's the uh, that's the recirculation part there Okay, I'll just quickly show you the inside of this box where the pump's housed. So yeah, there's no big mystery, it's just a very cheap $18 uh, 6 to 12 volt brushless DC um, yeah, pump. So yeah, it's just a, housed in here to make it look a bit prettier and also if I have too much to drink on brew day I know which, which side is in and which side is out. Um, yeah, and then finally we'll get on to the, uh, probably the the best part of the system or, or the, the thing that makes uh, makes it work or keeps it under control and that's um, the STC 1000 so the, the, the actual boiler lead is plugged into the heat side of the STC so I plug in I can enter a mash temperature and then leading on to today's mod so previously I had the um, STC lead um, dangling over the top and it was wrapped around the um, cake rack underneath the basket and that, that worked perfectly well, no problems at all but um, I just wanted to tidy up the system um, also when I was going to a boil it meant I had to try and pull the, um, the cable and probe out and I didn't want to damage it so yeah today I've put in this um, this thermal well here so 
I've done a separate video which I'll probably upload just of me using a step drill bit to um, drill the hole and fit this. So yeah, nice little stainless steel um, thermowell with silicon washers and on each side. And um, yeah, so the the probe goes in there and it's currently reading at 65.2. So that's basically, I think I've covered everything. Um, when I do my sparge, um, I pull the grain basket out and I just put a stainless steel rack over the top of the boiler and fit the basket on top. The sparge ring stays on the basket, so it's the whole thing sort of higher up. And then I pump sparge water yeah, through the pump and back over the top of the grain basket. And just that all falls down into the boiler. Pretty much, if, if you're familiar with the grain father, it's uh, you know it's pretty much a, a cut down version of that. The boiler is slightly smaller. It's 25 liters to the max line, but that suits me because I do um, sort of half batches. Okay, the boiler's um, where are we? Okay, the temperatures dropped down, so the boiler switched on, and now the temp's going back up again. So that's been picked up very nicely. So yeah, that's about it guys. Um, I guess the real acid test will be the next brew. Um, I've, I've actually uh, just done a brew. I'll just quickly show you that. So that's bubbling away at the moment. So yeah, I am, I am brewing. Um, bit of a mystery brew. I'll uh, let you know what that's all about soon. Yeah, so thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Um, got some sun outside. so. Happy days, especially in the middle of winter. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Over and out. Cheers.